I'm Chef Jasper, and today we're in the kitchen preparing cast iron flank steak with a tomato, basil, fresh herb salsa. You're gonna absolutely love it, and it's pretty simple to prepare. That's why I like it a lot. So let's get started with the flank steak. Now, go to your butcher, and you tell them you want a nice piece of flank steak. London broil, skirt steak, most butchers know it as a flank steak, so let's just keep it at that. And when we start, we want to get a good sear to this, but we want to put a little salt on it first. So you're going to see this, and I like a nice little coating. Why? Well, it gives it a great crust. Look at that. And it's time for a little bit of butter in here. But once I put the butter in, then I'll put the flank steak salt side down. Now watch this. We're going to get a little sizzle here. That's what we want. Oh, yeah. I love these cast iron skillets. They are fantastic. Great on the grill, inside, gas. It doesn't matter what you're cooking on. Now watch this. Right on top of that. Just like that. Just what we want. A little bit of salt, of course, on top of this side. Looks like a lot of salt. It's not. I'm telling you right now. And no pepper. Why? Because if the pepper sears, it's going to give it a different flavor. We don't want that. We'll add the pepper afterwards. Let this cook a little bit. In the meantime, let's start with that salsa. It's almost like a salsa verde, but we're doing things a little bit different, and I've added some different ingredients on a, my normal salsa verde. So first of all, let's get this sauce going. A bunch of parsley, flat leaf, or Italian style. You know, it's up to you. I love shallots. I love green onions. Also, I'm going to reserve a few of these and we'll put them in the end. You'll see that. You'll like that a lot. Just break this up. And I don't do any waste at all with this at all. Come on. Some lemon juice. Vinegar. Yes, that's the key. Some red wine vinegar. You know me, a pinch of red pepper. I like it a little spicy. Fresh basilico, the Italian basil. Always great. And I'll even mix basil in my greens later on. Olio verde extra virgin olive oil. A little bit of salt in here also. Not much cracked pepper. We don't really need a lot in here. We got the red pepper. Oh, that's sizzling. That's perfect. The juice of the lime. And let's get as much as we can in there. And also, I'm going to serve this with some sliced lime, so we'll have a little more lime flavor. I love the lime. I love the green onions. It's springtime. Just a perfect addition. We'll put the bread in just a minute here. We'll stop it, and we're going to add some torn Italian bread. I love just leftover rolls, whatever you have. Crusty, it doesn't matter. This is going to give really some body to it. We won't use all of it, but just enough. Gives your sauce body, gives it flavor. Here we go. We'll, we'll mix that just for a, you know, a few seconds or so, but then we need to stir this all again. And start again. So it takes about 30 seconds to come together and then we finish with the rest of the olive oil. And really the best way to do this is to actually take the top. You're not going to have anything flying out of here, I guarantee you, but take this top off. Get your olive oil ready. Put it on low again. And add our olive oil. Stop it one more time, give it a nice stir, and this is going to finish it for you. Just like this. I like mine kind of coarse, a little chunky. It's going to be just perfect. We'll set that aside. Let's get back to the flank steak. Boy, it's looking beautiful right now. Time to turn it. Oh, yeah. 
It's all around that butter. Now we'll add a little cracked pepper to it. Just a touch, not a lot. And let's part, start putting everything together and really get it ready. So now we have a, uh, a nice mixing bowl here. We're gonna add our mixed greens to the mixed greens, of course. Now, we need to dress this a little bit. So when I say dress it, well, a little bit of uh, olive oil, not much. A touch of salt. Okay, now, we're gonna add the greens, well, we're gonna add a little bit of cheese at the end and a little more for decoration, so. Not only decoration, but I always like a little, but I want, I want some in here. I want to give it a little more flavor. That's why I didn't put much salt in here. And at this point, I love pomegranates. If you can't get pomegranates, raspberries, but this is really something, this is unique. You never see this at all. We'll add our pomegranates. Just give it a little toss. And I love citrus. So a little bit of lime right on top. Just squeeze this a little bit. Remember, we're going to add more of those limes at the end. Just enough to give it a little flavor. And that's it. And we're almost ready to plate this all. Yes, we're going to plate it very, very soon. But I have one more little secret, what I love to do. Okay. Absolutely love, you know, these green onions. I use them in a lot of my recipes. So very, very quickly, and I know the meat's got about maybe two minutes left. I have my green onions. I'm going to put them right on the side here. And what great flavor. Really, it's going to give the meat a little flavor. And I just like to roast them just for, you know, a minute in the pan or so. Because our meat is just about ready. And I can kind of feel it. I'll turn it over here just to look at it again. Just like my other side. Everything's really starting to come together. In the meantime, let me get some of this salsa our tomato salsa. Now, I am gonna add some of the tomatoes here. Again, for a little decoration, but you know, it's gonna taste good also. And now I'm gonna add my salsa to a bowl. We're gonna serve this on the side with the meat. Just fantastic. Look at that. Put that off to the side. I love some of the tomatoes and some of the pomegranates if you want right on top. Because it is a tomato and basil salsa, something different. The meat is just about ready. I know those green onions are. And now, yes, that's just perfect. This is just what I want right here. Look at that, is that beautiful? A nice sear. And at this point, I can actually serve it just like this in the skillet, bring the skillet to the table. If we're outside, bring it to a picnic table. It's just perfect. We're going to turn that heat off now all the way. And all we do, we put these greens right on top. Oh, man. I wish you were in the kitchen with me right now. Look at this. Just like this. Right on top. Put some of those pomegranate seeds on there. Does that look delicious or what? Don't worry about some of those greens. And that's it. We're going to serve this. That's all we have to do. This is one dish everyone's going to love. It's simple. I call it my one skillet dish. Of course, cast iron skillet. Everybody loves a cook. Ah, look at this. This is great. Along with this salsa, you're going to absolutely love it. And... I'm telling you right now, this is something no one's going to turn down. It's something I would be proud to serve my family. Brought to you by Hen House Markets.